is Virulink here, and today I'm going to be doing a game review on Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu for the Quest 2. Click Games has done it again. They have came back with another banger, and this time it's like a Kung Fu movie. Dragon Fist VR Kung Fu is like stepping into a old school martial arts movie. Um, when I was playing this, I actually saw some sets that looked familiar to movies like IP Man or Enter the Dragon or any like Bruce Lee movie. They have a lot of things that relate to old school classic kung fu movies and I really enjoyed that about it. You can also play as many different character tropes from those type of movies. So you have like the old wise man fighter, you have the ninja, you have like the Shaolin monk, and they all have a lot of different types of moves that you can use. So they have like special moves that you can use and uh, those moves take a big chunk of health off of the opponent that you're fighting against. So speaking of special moves, I really like the way that they implemented this. Um, in order to start the special move, you have to press a button and then put your hand in a certain position in order to start the move, in order to actually activate it. So while fighting, you have the ability to bob and weave and block attacks, but all of your opponents also have those same abilities. The only difference may be the special moves. You can also blind opponents by like poking them in the eye, um, which if you watch a lot of old school Kung Fu movies, that's like a legit move that people use, just poking someone in the eye. So you can do that. You can also karate chop them in the throat and that kind of slows them down. Um, but yeah, there's ways to slow down the opponents, not just to be able to punch them and knock out their health bar, but also just like blind them um, so they can't fight back. And I thought that was really well implemented within this game. Now, of course, you do learn all of this in the tutorial, um, and that is called the training chambers. So once you enter the training chambers, they teach you all the moves that you may need to use when playing this game. I also do like the way that they teach you. They use simple things like um, karate chopping some bases or um, running and blocking at the same time. So you might have to run through an environment and block. Um, they teach you how to punch and karate chop by just chopping some bricks or different type of materials. Uh, they also teach you uh, to dodge and to karate chop in the air as well. So they use all of these just by like training um, equipment as if you were in an actual dojo. And the actual training is pretty fun to do. Now, towards the end of the training, uh, they also teach you how to hit certain pressure points that you might need to hit during gameplay. So certain pressure points on characters, it slows them down or it can totally knock them out and just mess up their chakra, which was a really cool implementation that I really like that they put in this game. I haven't really seen any other game have that in there, whether it be a VR game or just a regular game on the Xbox or PC or whatever. I just thought that was really, really cool. They also have many different maps that you can choose from and the variety is insane. They all look completely different. So it's not like they're just reusing different maps and just changing them a little bit. It's just completely different. And like I said before, there are some maps from movies. So for example, they have a map that looks to be like it is from IP Man. And if you don't know what IP Man is, it's about the guy who trained Bruce Lee or Bruce Lee's master. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, and within this map, they do have the racist guy or someone kind of like the racist guy that they fight in IP Man. And I thought that was a really cool addition because if you really like Kung Fu movies, you're gonna notice a bunch of small little details that they put into this game. And this is one of them that I really, really liked. I loved kicking this racist dude's ass. One of the savages thinks they know how to fight. I would also like to mention the special modes that they have. Uh, they do have a realism mode, which means you don't really have any powers or anything like that. You're just fighting. Uh, you can't use a special move and the opponent you're facing also can't use a special move. 
and they have a lot of different modes where you can uh, also go on a ninja mode where you're just fighting a bunch of different ninjas to see how long you can actually last so almost like a, a horde mode I would say where there's just a bunch of enemies coming at you and you just have to just survive um, that's two of the modes that I have played and there's other modes that I haven't unlocked yet so just the fact that this game already has many different modes I think that's amazing because this game is only on App Lab and it's not even on the uh, quest site yet and it's basically a full game so I really love that about this game. I also do want to mention that full body tracking will be supported soon so uh, vibe trackers will be supported. I'm not sure if it's only going to be supported on PC or if they're somehow going to support full body tracking on the quest as well. But I do know that it is coming. So stay tuned for that. I think that would be amazing in this game because right now the kick you just press a button. Uh, but when you have full body tracking, punching, kicking, turning, everything would be tracked and that would just be like super immersive. I can't wait for that. So for my final review of this game, I think this game is a five star game. Like this game is perfect, doesn't really have any jank to it. It's super fun to play, easy to learn, but once you learn it very well, it, you unlock like a whole nother level to this game. So I would basically give this game like a, a five star review. And it's completely different from the last game that they made. I believe I did a review on it, it's called Rogue Scent. That game is also fire, and it's a really good hand tracking game. So definitely check that uh, video out if you wanna see what that game's all about. But from this game to that game, it's completely different. I like how they can just change their uh, styles. So I really love this publisher, Click Games, and I loved how they made this game. There's no other game like it on the Quest or an App Lab or on the, just a regular Quest store. So definitely check this game out. As of right now, it is $29.99 on App Lab. And I completely think that this game is worth that price. So if you wanna check it out, just go on App Lab. Um, I really do recommend it. The only thing I wish that they did have was a multiplayer mode. Um, but other than that, like I said before, this game is pretty much perfect. If you like this video or my content, please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. Um, I also would like to say thanks again for Click Games for uh, sending me this game and uh, letting me uh, review it because I really love this game and I would have paid for it if um, you all didn't send it. So I just want to say thank you again for sending me this game. Um, and also, for my viewers, thanks for watching. You all really helped this channel out so much you have no idea. Uh, but have a wonderful day or night and peace out.